All right, welcome everybody coming in now. I'll just give everyone a few more minutes, uh, a few more seconds even to um, make your way in. We've actually got a lot of people registered for tonight's event. It was 450 plus when I last looked um, and I can see them all coming in now. We do like to um, run this evening though to a very, very tight schedule. So um, welcome to what promises to be um, the middle of the Spark Festival program and the biggest event on this year's Spark Festival program, uh, the Aussie Accelerator Massive Reverse Pitch. Just getting my screen set up. Um, I'm gonna begin this evening by acknowledging that I'm hosting this event from the lands of the Gadigal people of the Aora Nation. I also acknowledge the traditional custodians of the various lands on which we all find ourselves this evening and the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people participating in this event. I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging and celebrate the diversity of Aboriginal people and their ongoing cultures and connections to the lands and waters of Australia. And as we all share knowledge and connection this evening, we will all be continuing to honour the knowledge and the connection which is embedded forever within the Aboriginal custodianship of country. Welcome. So a year ago at Spark Festival, we started a meetup for people running accelerator programs for startups and founders across Australia, which became the Aussie Accelerator Network. Since then, we've all met quarterly, a growing number of programs ever since. And this ongoing event has been a great networking opportunity for people to share ideas and war stories out of running their programs. But we all got to thinking about it from the founder's point of view though, and realized that there's such a dizzying array of accelerators and other support programs to choose from, even within you know, the bounds of Australia. And now that many of them have taken things online, there's even more. They each have their merits and specialties, but which one is the right fit for you of those, I can see 170 founders who are on the call right now. Even finding out about them takes lots of research, let alone getting down to the details of what's on offer. And most of all, seeing if you connect with the vibe. So with that in mind, as a companion to tonight's event, we're actually launching an all new shiny and up-to-date listing of all the programs that we know about, which I believe will get posted, pasted into the chat right now. This is something we plan to grow and keep updated as a definitive go-to resource for founders exploring accelerator options. But tonight, we've got the members of the Aussie Accelerator Network coming together for what will be a fun and informative Spark Festival highlight. Each of them will have a very strict 90 seconds to let us know what's so great about their programs, the kinds of startups they're looking for. There'll also be a few surprises in there because I think a couple of them at least will be letting us know, in, letting us in on the news that they're not actually an accelerator. Oops. But rest assured that everyone on the program tonight has something to offer for founders. And indeed, speaking of people who've got something to offer for founders, our fellow supporters of the Aussie Accelerator Network are our good friends of Spark, William Buck. So in fact, our first presenter for the evening is Jack Chi, who's tax director at William Buck and has been along to every one of the Aussie Accelerator meetups. And he's got a very few, a few brief words to say this evening to, to get us going, and then we'll roll straight to the first accelerator to give their 90 second pitch. And that will be Ryan from Startmate. So prepare yourself, Ryan. But now over to Jack. Thanks, Maxine. Um, hi, everyone. I'm really excited to be here today. I don't recall anything like this and at this scale being organised in Australia. So I think uh, Maxine was being honest when uh, she um, uh, promoted this as massive. So well done to Maxine and the rest of the Spark team for the hard work done behind the scenes to get this together. I want to use this opportunity to tell you all about William Buck's Jumpstart series. It started live last year as a little podcast channel talking about the financial strategies to successfully scale a tech company. Recently, we pivoted to a richer format to also include webinars, articles, and interactive online conversations. Once again, about financial strategies founders should know. 
We'll bring out new content from time to time uh, with an emphasis on quality rather than quantity. So there's no spamming. It's all free. So check out the link on the right and sign up. I know there's a lot of podcasts, articles and the like out there, but I think a series about startup finances is a healthy habit every founder should have. So over back to you and I hope you enjoy the evening. Thank you so much, Jack. And now we roll into it. So brace yourselves for the um, 30 Accelerator program, starting with crossing the ditch to New Zealand. And we'll have Ryan Walker from Startmate. And after Ryan, there's Benjamin Chong from the Founder Institute. Awesome. Well, a chemical reaction occurs when two compounds come into contact with each other to alter the underlying structure. Put it another way, when you mix the right ingredients together in the right order with the right proportions and the right environment, magical things can happen. This is the magic we're trying to nurture at StartMap. Kia ora, my name is Ryan, and we're building the epicenter of startup ambition across Australia and New Zealand. We call it the epicenter as we bring key stakeholders of all the startup ecosystem together in one place, where we run a mentor-driven seed fund accelerator. It's a bit of a mouthful, but I'll outline it in three steps. Firstly, we take the most ambitious companies across Australia and New Zealand twice a year. Secondly, we surround them with a network of the best founders, investors, and operators who have all personally and financially invested to see you succeed. And thirdly, we then help you determine what the key drivers of success are for your company, set you the right goals, and then empower you to hit them faster than you've been able to before. Ready to make the magic happen? It doesn't matter what stage or area you're working at, the Startmate Accelerator is the best place in the whole region to build your company. And we're looking for those most exceptional founders with the biggest ambition for our next cohort. Apply for our summer cohort by November the 14th. Thank you, Ryan. That's an exciting start. Um, next up, we'll have Benjamin Chong from the Founder Institute, who I can see is already on screen there. And after Ben, we'll have Maxine Lee. Thank you very much, Maxine. I'm privileged to have been associated with the Founder Institute since 2011. And one of the key questions I get from founders is what's so good about the Founder Institute? Launched in 2009, we've helped over 5,000 entrepreneurs get the focus and support needed to build a business that matters. We're the world's largest pre-seed startup accelerator with a Silicon Valley-based HQ and chapters across 90 countries. And in Australia and New Zealand, we run a three-month program where alongside other founders, you won't learn how to build a business. Instead, you will build your business alongside top startup experts using a proven structured process that has helped some of the world's fastest growing companies raise over a billion dollars in capital. Our, pro, our core program, which many founders take part-time while they're holding down a job, includes a series of challenges that involve growth sprints, in addition to getting weekly feedback sessions where founders get constant feedback on their progress from experienced mentors and investors. After our core program, we provide founders with a lifetime of support, including product market fit and securing lead investors. Founder Institute's mission is to empower communities of talented and motivated people to build impactful technology companies worldwide. And we're now open for applications to our next program, which begins in early 2022. Thanks, Ben. Nice one. Uh, next up, we have Maxine Lee from um, Melbourne, Scalata Ventures. And after Maxine, we'll have Chandra. Thanks, Maxine. All right, for the founders who have ever been told by a VC to come back after six months once you've sorted your stuff out, this one's for you. Hi, everyone. I'm Maxine Lee, the Chief Operating Officer of Scalata Ventures. We are a seed investment firm that supports founders across the country who want to build transformative businesses. And we do this by providing innovative market-ready companies with access to our five-month program, as well as funding of up to a million dollars. The team at Scalata has either built or worked with hundreds of early stage companies for as long as startup programs have existed in Australia. And what I would say about Scalata is that we're there to support you and to push you to build a business that is far more significant than you thought possible, whether that's setting you up for a series A, moving into the next market or reinforcing your competitive position. 
In terms of how we do this, firstly, we take a lot of time to understand what specific metrics you should be tracking in line with your business and what levers you can pull in order to grow. And you'll feel empowered and develop more confidence when it comes to making key decisions. We're also more like partners to help you achieve your goals. And our team includes coaches and experienced operators who work week in and week out with you to help you establish a high performing operational cadence within your company. Lastly, growth is important, but we're also uh, quite mindful about doing things with intention. So we'll support you in developing the infrastructure that you'll need to grow sustainably. Things like your go-to-market, your fundraising strategy, your product roadmap, good governance practices, all of the building blocks required to build a significant business. So for anyone who's curious to learn more or ready to take the next step, you can find us at scalata.co. Thanks. Thanks, Maxine, and great to finally meet you properly. Next up, we have Chandra from Space Cube or Plus 8 over in Perth. And then after Chandra, we'll have James Alexander. Thanks, Maxine. Startup founders are tinkering with worlds that don't yet exist. They're trying to will their version of the future into existence, and that's not easy. It's less like a roller coaster ride and more like a yo-yo. Kaya. I'm Chandra, the general manager of SpaceCube, and I head the team that runs the Plus 8 Accelerator. At SpaceCube, our vision is to empower change, and we do that through innovation hubs, skills programs, and the Plus 8 Startup Accelerator. We know startups because we are one. We recognize that capital is oxygen, and if you can't get it, you're dead in the water. And the fact is, there's only so much of money to go around. So why Plus 8? because one third of the world lives within an hour of our time zone. That's GMT plus eight, and that's why we're called plus eight. Not, that, not because we take just eight teams. Um, and that doesn't change the GMT plus eight time zone. We're always GMT plus eight, no matter what season. Because we support founders and not just ideas, we enable res resilience, not just growth. SpaceCube and our program partners have invested over 1.5 million in 31 startups in the past five years. Our alumni businesses are valued at over $100 million. 2022 is bigger and better. Over 400,000 of investment is already um, locked in, backed by RACWA's venture fund, Better Labs and Woodside Energy's soon to be announced venture fund. Um, and they are committed to over 50 million in follow-on funds. We know that your business has the power to change the world. We can help you get investors and customers to see that. Expression of interest are now open for 2022. Find out more at plus8.spacecubed.com. Thank you, Chandra. That's a smooth pitch. I like it. Um, next up, we have James Alexander from Galileo, who I think might even have some news for us tonight. And um, <laughs> after James, we have Omar Najjar. That's right. Hi, everyone. Great to be here. Thanks, Maxine, for organizing an awesome, this is my first Spark Invest event. Um, uh, I'm James Alexander. I'm the co-founder and partner at Galileo Ventures. We're the newest VC fund in Australia. And tonight, we would like to announce that we are officially going to become the anti-accelerator. Um, what that means is do not apply to us if you want to learn about startups or if you want to get an education. Apply to us if you want to build a globally significant technology business that makes a big difference in something that you're passionate about. Um, more practically speaking, at Galileo, we offer $10 million uh, to back emerging founders. And what that means for us as first-time founders, overlooked founders, diverse and young, which often get told by VCs in Australia that you are too early. Um, we love to speak to you if that is the case. Um, we think the VC model is a bit broken, and so we're doing things differently. Um, and what that means is at pre-seed and seed stage, we're offering more money, more support, and coaching from active founders and operators. Specifically, we have a platform, and that platform is $240,000 investment, 12 months of support, um, coaching, and follow-on fundraising support as well. Uh, which I'm happy to talk about if anyone wants to apply and is really interested. Our current founders, and we've got 10 businesses we've invested to date since we launched last year in December, have described us as a non-traditional accelerator that gives you the space to operate and is more like having an extra co-founder than it is being inside a program. So if you're interested, please apply at apply.galileo.ventures and we give personalized feedback to everyone that comes through the door and we get back to you within 72 hours 
So I hope to see some of you there and nice to see everyone else also on this pitch. It's great to see the community growing very big. Thanks, James. Great to have you here. And I hope we're all going to still stay friends after this. Um, next up, we have Omar Najjar from Innovation Drive, who I believe has a similar kind of announcement. And then after Omar, we'll have Pernil Agaholm. Thanks so much. I'm so excited. My name's Omar from Innovation Drive. Uh, we, our mission is to empower everyday inventors to bring their physical products to market. This is, this is my warehouse. I'm going to take you on a little tour and show you some crazy... That was a Tesla you just saw. Just <laughs> wasn't telling anybody about that. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit, a couple of stories about um, some of our projects. So here we've got a, a one that we're working on. It's from a rural inventor who's 70 years old, who was a nurse um, and helped stroke victims get out of bed. And we're just so excited to bring this to market at the moment. We've also got Conrad prototyping some... Well, let's just let's just keep that let's just keep that side. So we've got an AI machine learning bin here, right? That we're that we're working on at the moment. Because if you're too lazy to know what goes into what bin, this this is a project that we're helping empower and bring to life. Is that right, Steve? Steve, can you hear me? Can can you you... Oh, sorry. This is another one. We've got we've got a microphone. Um, it's, it gets rid of all ambient noise. Um, it's like five. Can you hear me? Oh, he kind of puts it on sometimes if he doesn't want to talk to me. Um, gets rid of complete all of ambient noise in the background. And um, th th that's some of the kind of projects that we work on. We also love to have a lot of fun here. Um, oh, fuck. <laughs> the, the, ah, shit! Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, what we do is we run um, a 14 week accelerator program. It's brutal. We will shoot a Nerf gun at you. Um, uh, we've got 36 mentors that come in. It's part time, so you don't have to quit your job. Uh, come, come right up. We've got, uh, look, we're opening in Queensland. Uh, Shenzhen and even Jamaica soon. So that's another thing we just keep on the down low. Um, we, we help build your executive team, get on the ground floor. We dance the dance. We're founders ourselves. And we've launched an inventor syndicate recently. So we're going to back crazy, crazy, crazy hardware inventors. So if you know one or you want one, check us out at innovationdrive.co. Uh, hit us up. Um, thank you so much. Thanks, Maxine. Love Spark. Thanks, Omar. That was awesome and well within the bounds of decency. So thank you so much for doing that. Uh, next up, we have Pernil Agaholm from Scalare Partners. And then after Pernil, um, prepare yourself, Colin Kinner. Thank you so much, Maxine. Hi everyone, my name is Pernilla and I'm the head of community for Scalare Partners. At Scalari, we invest in and provide support to game-changing founders who want to make a positive impact on the world. We invest at the seed and pre-series A stage, and we help you both strategically and operationally grow and scale your business. We look for founders with knowledge and passion who can demonstrate a product market fit. A bit of revenue is also a great sign, and so is the potential to be able to go global. But how are we different? Well, we don't just cut you a check and leave you high and dry. We partner with you for the long term on the best outcome for you. This is why our ethos is founders first. At Scalari, you're part of a community of like-minded founders, advisors, and investors who all wanna help you succeed. We provide board support, one-on-one -on -one growth sessions on topics such as your funding roadmap, protecting your IP, entering new markets, or potentially you need help hands-on with your finances, your sales, or your marketing. It is not all roses building a business, but with Scalari, you're certainly not going it alone. Lastly, our team and our community would really like to see a shift towards a more gender balanced and culturally diverse ecosystem within entrepreneurship and technology. We wanna be the change, and we really hope that you do too. Scalari Partners, together we scale. Oh, thank you, Penila. What a lovely message. I really like it. Uh, next up, we have Colin Kinner from Startup OnRamp. And after Colin, we'll have Marlo McKenzie. Thanks, Maxine. I'm Colin Kinner, uh, founder and CEO of Startup OnRamp. Uh, we are Australia's leading provider of pre-accelerator programs and short courses for idea stage and pre-launch startup founders. Um, so far, we've helped over a thousand early stage founders from all over Australia to learn the essential skills that they need to build a successful company and to tap into expert mentoring from people 
who themselves have deep experience in their own startups. Our alumni include companies that have gone on to be accepted into top tier accelerators here in Australia and in the US uh, to raise seed and Series A funding and to build amazing companies using the learnings they've had from our programs. Uh, last year, we launched our Founders Course, which is a fully online program that shows you how to succeed as a founder. It covers important topics such as how to validate your idea, build and launch your MVP, get early customers, build a high performing team, and get ready to raise capital from investors. The course features deep dive conversations with a diverse group of Australian founders and subject matter experts. And by doing the course, you get to work on your startup under the guidance of experienced startup mentors and access more than $10,000 worth of perks from Amazon Web Services, HubSpot and others. The Founders course is for idea stage founders, and it's something that everyone who is embarking on a startup should do before they spend time or money building their product, before you apply to an accelerator, um, before you think about pitching investors, and definitely before you quit your day job. You can find more about Startup On Ramp at startuponramp.com. Thanks, Colin. And yes, having worked my way through that course myself, I can absolutely vouch for it and it's time very well spent for sure. Next up, we have Marlo McKenzie from Catalyzer. And after Marlo, we'll have Lana. Thanks for that, Maxine. Uh, my name is Marlo McKenzie. I'm head of operations at Catalyzer. Catalyzer is a startup accelerator with, um, that focuses specifically on founders from migrant and refugee backgrounds. So uh, the underemployment and, and unemployment of migrants is a huge issue uh, in Australia and countries like Australia. Um, and, and, and our mission is to enable people, to help people and support people um, through creating their own jobs, creating their own means of meaningful employment by way of starting businesses. So <clears throat> we run two separate programs. We run a pre-accelerator program, which is a 12 week program that focuses uh, largely on education. We run uh, a bunch of different workshops and also have our community sessions and have our mentor network also join us during those community sessions. Our second program is uh, the Accelerate program. The Accelerate program are for early stage founders who already have an MVP in the market, um, but need some help to kind of take that business and to scale it to the next level. So um, we run two intakes. So we run our, um, our pre-accelerator program is in the top half of the year generally around April. Our, our Accelerate program is in the second half of the year, usually starting in September. Um, and, and over the last five years, we've supported over 520 micropreneurs to create 115 businesses. So if you wanna learn more, uh, just visit our website at catalyzer.com.au, which is C-A-T-A-L-Y-S-R.com.au. And uh, thanks, thanks for having me tonight. Thanks, Marlo. And yeah, that's some fantastic numbers and some amazing work you guys do. I love it. Um, next up, we have Lana Wheel from Atto Accelerator. And after Lana, we'll have Sarah Curtis Forley. Kia ora, everybody. I'm Lana Wheel, Atto's program manager and passionate cheerleader for female founders across Australia and Aotearoa. So you know how female founders often have a dash of imposter syndrome, perhaps a pinch of perfectionism, or maybe they have, might have a big fear of failure or a big fear of success? Well, what we do at Atto is provide all the startup insights and coaching women need to build scalable tech startups, all within a community of like-minded, supportive, and ambitious women who are also building tech startups. In fact, we run programs for emerging founders who might just have a business idea, as well as existing founders who have usually been in business for less than five years and they're looking to scale their operations. So Atto is supported by the awesome team at LaunchVic and Microsoft for Startups, and it was founded by the impressive serial entrepreneur, Kate Kendall. So our goal at Atto is to support women to build independent, scalable, and sustainable businesses, and we're all about focus, clarity, and action. So Atto has been virtual since day one, and our founders are taught by world-class startup founders and operators with a proven track record of success. During our programs, we aim to take founders from idea to MVP and ideally revenue because if your business doesn't make money, it's not going to be sustainable long term. So our flagship program is our accelerator, which covers topics like customer validation, building MVPs, no code tools, marketing, community and funding. But we also have a monthly academy membership outside of our uh, accelerator program for those founders who want support from a like-minded community 24 seven. 
So alumni have gone on to have great success like Aerobe and Bubble Tea Club who have gone on to raise over a million dollars each. But we also have a bunch of alumni who are, you know, quiet achievers running the profitable startups and focusing on what matters most like websites, coffee roulette, Zove Beauty and Purposeful. So if you'd like to join us, we would love to uh, share more about what we're doing at atto.vc. Thanks, Lana. That's awesome. Next up, we have Sarah Curtis Forley from Springboard. And after Sarah, we'll have Chantal from the studio. Hello from SBE Australia. Since 2013, SBE Australia has been accelerating and supporting the success of women led ventures. From idea to IPO, SBE is here to empower, equip, and inspire women entrepreneurs. We have graduated over 250 industry changing businesses from our accelerator programs, including 85 alumni who have participated in our program, which takes Australian businesses to a global market. Collectively, our companies have raised over a billion dollars in capital with 11 successful exits, including two IPOs. Our impressive roster of alumni includes rock stars like Melanie Perkins of Canva, Christy Chong of Mati Body, and Tessa Court of Intelligence Bank. Our programs are high touch and high impact. We leverage our national and global network of investors, industry experts, advisors, and mentors to connect our founders with the information, introductions, and strategies to build truly scalable businesses. Whether you are just starting out or ready to take on the world, SBA is here to amplify your impact. So if you are an ambitious woman who wants to change your industry and change the world, get in touch to see how you can be a part of SBE's enviable global network. Thanks, Sarah. That's awesome. Very inspirational. Uh, next up, we have um, a very old friend of Spark <laughs> Festival, Chantal Abusha, who I've known since 2016, who's going to be telling you about the studio. And then after Chantal, we have someone else I met in 2016, Duco. I actually want to sign up for SBE, so um, no. But um, let me just um, thanks, everyone. It's been fantastic to hear everyone's pictures so far. So for those of you that don't know about the studio, um, and thank you for having me, uh, Maxine, <clears throat> the studio is a startup, is an incubator for startups. We're one of the anchor tenants in the Sydney Startup Hub. We broadly specialise around what we call transformative communications. <clears throat> so it could be, uh, but we do welcome all startups uh, into, into uh, our, our incubator and into our programs. So since we began operations in the Sydney Startup Hub, We've incubated more than 250 startups or probably over 300. They've raised in three years, collectively, they've raised around $88 million, which is super exciting. Um, and we've got this extraordinary community. The studio was launched, is a not-for-profit. We were launched and founded um, by 21 um, organisations uh, across academia, business, tech and industry um, to get started. And so we've got these really deep and rich networks that we bring into uh, what we call our Founders Program. So with our Founders Program, seven-week program, uh, we've actually got a, a new cohort which is starting soon. Applications close this Sunday. Jump onto the studio website to find out more. Um, but we are, of course, then agnostic. So we, um, we, you know, we, we connect you to all parts of the ecosystem through the program. Um, every, there's an online component which we partner with Startup OnRamp to deliver. And every Friday we have this intensive day of masterclasses and workshops. And, um, and also we have extraordinary founders that give back and, um, and do, do sessions on that day, which have been some of the most popular sessions as well. You also get one-on-one -on -one support by a commercialization expert as you go through the program. So this is sort of short, sharp, really intensive program but you don't have to quit your day job we've had these extraordinary cohorts i was going to read some some quotes but i probably don't have time but um an example of our cohorts you know it could be 20 to 25 people these are the sort of averages 55 percent female founders 
10 different countries of origin, 11 ethnicities, five decades spanned in age of cohort. So we attract a really unique and, um, and vibrant community into the studio. I hope to welcome you soon. Thanks, Chantal. And yes, as a graduate of your program, I can totally endorse it. And you have a really fabulous community up there. Well worth checking out. If you're a, an early stage founder with an idea and a dream, you really should go and check out the studio's program and apply. Like it's, it's Sunday that it's due, so do it. Next up, we have Duco Van Bremen from Haymarket HQ. And after Duco, we'll have Vivian. Cool, thank you, Maxine. And before I, I do my own pitch, Omar, I loved, I loved what you did. I think you should be a startup comedian as well. Uh, and I think as, uh, one of the incubators here is hosting a comedy night on Friday. And Lana, you were mentioning one of the graduates is a bubble tea company. Uh, I think I am one of their customers actually uh, and loved it during lockdown, so thank you. Uh, now, my name is Duco, I'm the CEO of Haymarket HQ. Uh, we were founded in 2017 as a not-for-profit and have supported about 700 companies since from early stage startups to ASX listed enterprises, as well as uh, unicorns to start and expand. Uh, and on the side, I run a small family office that's invested in 12 businesses this past year. But today, I'm not here to actually talk about our co-working space or our programs or so much our startup programs. I'm here to talk about JPEGs of monkeys and whales. Uh, so for those unfamiliar with that, uh, NFTs or non-fungible tokens. There's been a lot of noise around that recently. We have been investing in it and creating them and are just about to launch the first NFT accelerator, I believe globally, but for sure here in Australia. So check out nftaccelerator.com.au. Uh, if you are a creative, if you are a techie, if you are a business person and you're looking to also sell 10,000 images for 2 million a pop, uh, that's something that we're going to try and help you with. Now, selling a JPEG, is it's a little bit harder than that. I might be uh, underselling it here. Uh, but what we've done is we've created the networks and the knowledge and put it into a program to help you essentially understand the fundamentals of launching a successful NFT. Sydney is a hotbed for this, believe it or not. Uh, there are billion-dollar companies that are all in this space. Immutable is one of them, but there are many more that you probably have never heard of. This is the time to get involved. Check out nftaccelerator.com.au and I look forward to hearing from you. That's awesome, Duco. Thank you so much. And um, make sure you, you totally sprung that on me. So please do put that one in the chat because we didn't know that link until 30 seconds ago. Next up, we have uh, Vivian Mullen from Remarkable. And then after Vivian, we'll have Carolyn. Thank you. All right, so what does one in five mean to you? That one could be a mum, could be a friend, could be a colleague. I can tell you that that one represents one of the creators of the internet. Uh, it represents some of the greatest artists of all time. That one is who audiobooks, uh, electric toothbrush and the keyboard were originally designed for. That one is a human and that one can also represent me. Currently one in five Australians or 15% of the world's population are people living with a disability. And Remarkable is on a mission to harness technology to redesign a world that is enabling for everyone. Remarkable is the accelerator program made possible by the Cerebral Palsy Alliance. We support tech startups focused on unleashing human potential and creating life-changing solutions for and with people with a disability. Our annual 16 week accelerator offers $75,000 worth of seed funding and a program designed to refine startups with the guidance of expert coaches, mentors, and user testers, uh, connections with the disability sector, and access to a ready made market. Since 2016, we have worked with 40 startups who have raised $28 million in capital and created over 500 full time equivalent jobs. We're also pretty excited to be part of the founding team and members of the Inclusive Innovation Network or PLUSN, which is the world's first global community of disability tech startups, investors and innovators. So applications for our 2022 uh, Accelerator are open now. If you have an idea that will enable human potential, then build it with Remarkable. Thank you so much, Vivian. Love your work, you and Pete, it's amazing. Uh, next up, we have Carolyn James from The Gate. And after Carolyn, we have the other Colin, Colin Graham from Sunramp. 
Hi everyone, um, my name is Carolyn James and I look after the GATE. Um, the GATE stands for Global Ag Tech Ecosystem and it's an innovation program for Austra the Australian ag tech sector. Now you may not think agriculture is a startup space that's of relevance to you, but if you're a startup wanting to sell a food, a fibre or a pharmaceutical product, you link back to agriculture. If you're in the process of design, uh, process design, material design, packaging, waste management, or carbon and emissions management, you link back to agriculture. If you're in finance and transport and marketing, you can link your startup back to agriculture. And if you've been obsessed about food during lockdown and eaten too much, you are connected to agriculture. Now, the GATE program is a pretty unique because it's underwritten by the New South Wales Department of Primary Industries. The department or DPI have over 600 scientists and experts in agriculture, ranked in the top 1% in the world in ag science. We also have 22 research sites across the state. Now that's 13,000 hectares of research farms across a huge variety of commodities and climates. So the GATE and DPI can help agricultural startups and other agribusinesses improve the quality and success of their products. Uh, to increase and reach the and expand to new markets. In 2022, the DPI will be opening its research stations and research capacity around New South Wales to support startups and to, to, to test and to validate their products. Um, this is the real missing link in the growth trajectory for maturing business products in the ag tech sector. In four years since we started with our venture partners, Spark Labs Cultivate, we have supported over 70 teams and raised over $100 million in follow-up funding and generated over 100 new jobs in Australia. Next Tuesday night, the 26th of October, is our 2021 demo day, and we'll be showcasing our latest startups. So tune in and hear about the diversity of projects then. Absolutely, yes. There's a few demo days coming up in the final days of Spark Festival, and I think that's one of them. So do tune into that. I'll try and um, quickly, after everything's over, squeeze these extra links into the post-event email for you all. Uh, next up, we have Colin Graham from the sunny coast with Sunrand. And after Colin will be Sarah Mark. Hi there. Uh, thanks, Maxine. Hi, everyone. So I'm uh, Colin Graham from the Sunrand team here on the Sunshine Coast. Um, my background is really marketing, innovation and engaging talent. Worked with about 300 startups, mainly in Australia, but also slightly Irish, as you might spot. Um, I work with Ron Hill. Um, his experience is in tech development and sales. And Ron's recently returned from about 30 years in the US, um, where he's been an entrepreneur and investor and also pretty active with two uh, big accelerators in Boulder, Colorado, uh, Boomtown and Upramp. And we're really leveraging that US experience in our program uh, here on the Sunshine Coast. So most startups have got really, as you all know, they've all got very limited time, limited money, limited energy, and you've got to really make uh, good things happen quickly. So our focus at SumRamp is helping health technology startups particularly to go further, faster. That's what we're focused on. Um, we're really targeting startups at a little bit later stage than some other folks. They're usually two, three years into their journey but it's more about where, where they're at milestone wise. So they've got their first products, they've got their first customers. Sometimes they're a little bit log jammed and, but, and trying to figure out how to get to the next level of growth. So we're helping them particularly with their business model, uh, sales and marketing, and also to grow into the US or some other uh, international markets as well. So how we help startups go a bit further uh, faster? Well, really important about understanding the position. We emphasize the international opportunities. We're leveraging our experience through coaching, a great mentor panel of about 20 people, um, and health professionals, investors, and service providers as well, like AWS are part of our team. So finally, health tech is a rapidly growing market. In 2020, the VC investment in health tech was double what it was in 2019. It was pretty big in 2019. So it's a big growth market, but also there's many, many challenging issues. It's not a straightforward market. It's a pretty tricky market to get into. So we're trying to leverage the talent experience of our network to help health tech startups go a lot further, a lot faster. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Colin. Uh, next up, we have Sarah Mark from the Law Tech Hub. And after Sarah, we've got Carla from Foment. Hey everyone, my name's Sarah Mark, Marketing Manager from Landon and Rogers Law Tech Hub. Uh, the Law Tech Hub is an immersion opportunity for mature startups and scale-ups in Australia's legal technology community. 
90 seconds is pretty short, so I'm going to keep it to the top line and give you a countdown of the top five things you need to know about the Law Tech Hub. Number five is mentorship. Startups get access to an amazing bunch of mentors who are industry leaders, and they provide support, guidance, and practical advice to our residents. Our startups are also paired with a sponsor who work with them to drive product development through feedback from clients, lawyers, and tech teams. Number four is business skills. Our program gives startups the fundamental knowledge to build a healthy business, including finance, operations, marketing, and more. Number three is community. Our um, startups get access to an amazing community, including Landon Rogers and YBF Ventures, who provide so many opportunities to connect with peers, potential clients, investors, and networks that we've been building for many years. Number two is equity. Unlike other programs, startups retain all IP, and the Law Tech Hub does not take any equity stake which means our residents reap the rewards for their hard work. Which brings me to number one, but also to the end of my 90 seconds. So to find out what number one is or any more information, please reach out to the Law Tech Hub. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Slick, I like it. <laughs> uh, next up, we have uh, Carla diaz Waduits from Hello. Kent. And then after Carla, we've got Hilary. Hi everyone, uh, thanks Maxine and Spark Festival for this opportunity. Uh, my name is Carla Diz Wadowitz and apart from teaching uh, innovation topics to uh, uni students, I also deliver acceleration programs to entrepreneurs, startups and companies. Viticulture, wine and tourism are essential to Australia's economy and Foment was born in 2018 with the idea of creating an international innovation hub for these industries in Australia. That is why Flinders University, Hydro Consulting and Wine Industry Supplies Australia came together in 2019 to make this vision come true. Foment is a global accelerator that is looking for startups that have innovative technologies for the viticulture, wine and tourism industries and simply or simply amazing technologies that can be transposed or adopted by these industries. Also, they are ready to scale up. Our seven week program is unique and customized to be delivered to startups all around the globe. Besides our amazing program, we also provide opportunities for startups to connect with global mentors, advisors, investors, and experts. And we also go on immersion tours in person or virtual. And uh, we also provide them with the opportunities to, to be showcased at events such as Spark, South Start, and Advanced Egg. Besides acceleration, we are obsessed about industry adoption and we will connect you with relevant industry players. Since the launch of Foment Pilot Accelerator in 2019, we have skilled and accelerated 18 startups and we are currently training six more in approximately, uh, so approximately 25 in three years from SA, Vic, NSW, ACT, WA, but also New Zealand, USA, UK and France. Some of their journeys have been amazing and they're all welcome to the Foment family. The current Foment cohorts will be showcased at Spark Festival on October the 26th at 2 p.m. at light time. Don't miss out and please check out foment.com.au and get all the details on this amazing program. Lovely audience, a toast to you all. <laughs> Thanks, Carla. That's lovely. And yes, do check out their pitch um, night or afternoon, depending on where you are, on um, Tuesday coming up. That's another good one. Next up, we have Hilary Brainard from Blue Chili. And after Ch um, Hilary, we'll have Jamie Pride. Hi, everyone. I'm determined to get this in under 90 seconds. So just warning, I'm going to talk a little bit fast. So here we go. And um, the best thing about working with Blue Chili is the people. I'm Hilary Brainerd and I joined the team last year during COVID-19 lockdown, which was a pretty unique experience. I met everyone online. We ran our first ever online accelerator. I didn't even get to meet my team in person until the accelerator had finished, but it was great because of the people. So why should you choose Blue Chili? Our founders always say that the best thing about our programs is the cohort. As a member of our accelerators, you will meet lifelong friends, get an unmatched level of support, and make connections that will help you build your business faster than you ever could on your own. So what do we look for? We seek out founders who are well-matched, 
both to our programs and to each other. When we recruit, we screen for great ideas and also for values. We look for founders who are teachable, positive, open-minded, and kind. And we look for the same qualities in our teammates, mentors, advisors, and investors. At Blue Chili, we have an open door policy. So whether you're in an active program or an alum, we're here for you and you will always be a part of our family. So what accelerators do we run? Our active programs include the Future Minds Accelerator, which is for late stage ed tech founders with a particular focus on ideas that help kids from K to 12 learn collaboration, creativity, communication, and critical thinking. And She Starts, which is designed for women-led early stage tech founders. Join our mailing list to be the first to hear when we're recruiting for our next program. And I will drop the link in the chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hillary. Uh, next up, we have Jamie Pride from Launchpad at Western Sydney University. And after Jamie, we'll have Melissa. Hey, founders. How you doing? Um, my name is Jamie Pride, and I am the Chief Entrepreneur in Residence at Western Sydney Uni Launchpad. And today's pitch is going to be brought to you by the letter F. It's kind of like a little bit of Sesame Street vibe here yeah. today. So firstly, why, why us? Why come to a uni of all places to accelerate your business? Well, let's start with the faculty. Um, all of the faculty in our program are experienced entrepreneurs, and we've all got the scars to prove it. I could tell you our combined overall entrepreneurial age, but it's probably pretty scary. Um, secondly, flexibility. So our program is completely part-time. So you can keep your day job and still participate in all of our programs. Um, secondly, or thirdly, oh, sorry, we can't count here over at the university, clearly, is fitness. So those of you who do know me know that I'm really, really passionate about founder mental health and well-being. And that's baked into the heart of our program at Western. And we really think that it's essential that we give you the skills to not just navigate this startup, but all of the startups that you're going to found on your entrepreneurial journey. Uh, I can talk to you about facilities, another F that I love. We've just built a brand new building in Parramatta that's got some amazing maker spaces, got some great VR experiences. So if you're a hardware startup, we're also a pretty cool place. We're fun, we're free, the Fs go on for miles and miles. But really, who are you? Well, you're somebody who's serious about wanting to truly accelerate your startup. We've got three primary programs running next year. Um, we love our space metaphors. So we're talking pre-flight, we're talking ignition, and we're talking booster. Pre-flight is all about uh, ideation. So if you don't really know what you want to do, come do a short course with us, and we'll help you to unpack the idea that you could pursue. We also do a 12 weeks uh, program called Ignition, which is focused on startups. So if you're pre-product and you want to get from zero to MVP, that's the program for you. And then lastly, Booster is a new program we're running next year that's very much focused on helping scale up. So a more mature bespoke program that's running for 12 weeks. Applications are open now. And I've got a special offer for everybody who is uh, applying through. I'm a salesperson. What can I do? Um, if you're applying today, and you mentioned Spark. I don't know if this is going to scare you off or not, but you can get a three, 15 to slash 30 minute session with me to help you with your application. So applications are open now, launchpadlive.com.au. It's been a pleasure. What a panel. Thanks very much. Have a great night. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, next up, we have Melissa Pai from UNSW Founders. We're in the university zone at the moment. And after Melissa, we'll have Ben Lindsay from Incubate. Fantastic. Thank you very much for having me, Maxine, and thank you very much for putting this on from the University of New South Wales, and I have an accelerator program that's part of the Founders Program. If anybody here is not UNSW student, staff or alumni, and you don't know anybody who's UNSW student, staff or alumni, and you're never going to do a business with UNSW student, staff and alumni, take a break, go to the bathroom, go and have a drink because you're going to be really disappointed that you're going to miss out on what we offer through the Founders Program. So the Founders Program is Australia's leading university-based entrepreneurial program for UNSW student staff and alumni. And we support them to translate their ideas and research into startups to deliver commercial outcomes. And we've got everything for people that have just got an idea, so early stage or idea or curious, 
all the way up to raising with Series A. So we've got entrepreneurial skill building, we've got a maker space, we offer a four credit degree, we've got New Wave, which is our entrepreneur program, getting more women into the space. We've got Peter Farrell Cup that's a pitch competition. We've run an angel investment course in conjunction with AGSM Business School. And we also offer the accelerator program, which is called 10X. We offer two streams. We've got the industry agnostic stream, which was launched in 2017. We've had 47 startups participate in that. And we've got Health 10X that we run in partnership with the George Institute for Global Health. We launched that in 2019 and 17 startups have gone through that. We run one program a year. Mid-year, we have two phases to the accelerator program. We've got the five-week pre-accelerator phase. And then from that, we select 12 startups, six industry agnostic and six health startups for the 10-week accelerator program. Uh, this year, we've run at 100% online, same with last year. Next year, we're looking at doing a hybrid. We do want some face-to-face -face stuff in there as well as being online. So the benefits of the program are we are designed to get you investment ready. We offer you 20K seed funding via a safe, which is super founder friendly. Uh, we open up our network and help you expand your network. We provide you with knowledge. Uh, we provide you with post program support as well, which includes awesome new co-working space. You become part of the 10X alumni where there are over 200 people involved in that network. We continue to offer coaching and connections um, and through the program, we introduce you to investors from our angel investment program that we run, other angel investors, family officers, and VCs. Our point of difference is we are truly super founder friendly. Everything we offer is for free. Um, with the funding, the seed funding, there is an equity part of that. And it's tiny, weeny, weeny, tiny, maybe between 0.5 and 3% for that. Uh, we're about having fun and we actually care about the founders. Everybody in our team are here because we care about what you do and your success. Everything that we offer you is what we call ungoogleable. So everything that we bring in, the founders that we bring in, the founder stories that we share with you, you cannot Google the stuff that you get in our program. We have some rock stars that have gone through our program. We've got Talita that have now got their product into Woolworths Australia-wide, um, into supermarkets in uh, Europe, the US, uh, Countdown in New Zealand. What they offer is computer vision to identify products without barcodes. So no longer can you go to Woolies, pop a mango in there and call it a brown onion because they'll go, bip, bip, that is a mango. Uh, we've got Aerologics uh, that have raised one and a half million. We've got um, Space Tech, HEO Robotics. Um, they visually monitor spacecraft and space objects. Um, everyone can stick something up into space, but they've got no way of actually visually monitoring them. So that's what HEO Robotics does. They went through Y Combinator as well. We've got Farage that went through Y Combinator. Talita went through Plug and Play. Um, and Farage, um, they've actually raised over $45 million. Uh, most of that was raised during lock 45 million. Yeah, most, most of it was raised during lockdown. And in total, our portfolio have raised over $70 million. So is 10X right for you? You need to be UNSW student staff or alumni. You need to have an MVP or prototype. Evidence that there's demand for something that you are building. A cracker team, let us let us know the connection to the problem, your domain expertise, that you've got complementary skills on your team so that you can deliver what you say you're going to deliver. You need to be uh, committed to your startup as well, so not just a side hustle. And you also need to see capital raising as a pathway to scale. If you want to find out more, jump onto our website, jump on into our info session. You can reach out to me personally on LinkedIn as well. Um, expressions of interest will open early next year. And that's it from me. Thank you very much for listening and hope you're back from the toilet. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa, and thank you for that update. I will no longer be attempting to put um, mangoes through as onions and don't know how I'm going to survive on the startup budget without that, but um, good to know. Uh, next up, we've got Benjamin Lindsay from Incubate, and after Benjamin, we've got Murray. Thank you, Maxine. So hello, everyone. My name is Ben Lindsay, and I'm the Program Manager for the Incubate Accelerator Program at the University of Sydney. Next year, we actually celebrate 10 years of accelerating startups at the university. So how are we different? Well, we are one of those accelerators that takes no equity in your startup ever. 
Yes, you still get grant funding and mentors. Yes, you still get access to workshops and a co-working space. And yes, you get beers, wines, lunches and snacks on Fridays, all for free with no dilution of your startup. We are here to be your first believers and through our Accelerator program, we can help you launch. Are we any good? Well, we have won numerous awards, including StartCon's Startup Accelerator of the Year in Asia Pacific, twice, and teams from Incubate have raised more than $50 million. We are sector agnostic and have worked with teams from quantum computer error diagnostics to consumer fintech or cork handbags. Any idea is welcome. No one is also too young. We recently helped a 19-year-old undergrad-led team build their idea and raise $3 million from Afterpay's Touch Ventures. All you need is one member to be a student, researcher, staff member, or alumni of the University of Sydney. And while we just closed the applications for our first accelerator next year in 2022, I've been a little bit cheeky and reopened them for the next 48 hours. So you have until 6 p.m. on Friday. So head to incubate.org.au forward slash accelerator to find out more and put your application through. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. Next up, we have Murray Herbs from UTS Startups. And after Murray, we'll have Eloise. Hello. Uh, can I just say how much I love uh, this Zoom call. Uh, this is easily my favourite Zoom call of the year, if not the decade. Uh, thank you, Maxine, for pulling this together. I just want to stay on this forever. Um, I'm Murray Herbs, uh, Director of Entrepreneurship for UTS, the University of Technology Sydney, for people outside Sydney. Uh, okay, so what are UTS startups? UTS startups are entrepreneurs inspiring and supporting other entrepreneurs. I'm speaking collectively because that's basically what we do. Uh, that is the important part of what we do. Uh, UTS Startups is about the collective, not just about what our team does. Um, we work with our UTS Startups to run a lot of different workshops, events, space activations, high school incursions, other things to help people that aren't entrepreneurs to become entrepreneurs. Uh, so tens of thousands of people a year, uh, helping them see what they can be. Uh, we work with our UTS startups to motivate new members to continue what they start, to find their peers, to feel supported, to feel normal uh, and continue what they're doing. Uh, we work with our UTS startups to share tips, skills, motivation, uh, emotional support across all of our members. And we work with our UTS startups to leverage their networks to connect everyone we're supporting to customers, talent, uh, investors, researchers, whatever they need for their startup to continue and grow. We have an incredible team uh, within UTS Startups, but even more incredible than our team are the thousand odd uh, UTS Startups founders um, that, that are not all odd, uh, <laughs> who you can join, uh, work in free space alongside and help inspire and support the next generation of entrepreneurs or be inspired and supported yourself. So UTS Startups are helping people start, helping people continue, helping people grow. And it's working. We've had 720 uh, startups uh, start with us in the last three years since we started, uh, 372 active today, 401 paid jobs created in those startups in the last year, 2,200 UTS students working with those startups in the last year through internships, in subject projects, workshops, all the other things that we do. Need talent? We got talent. Uh, and it can work for you too. So uh, we don't charge for any of the support that we, that we give or any of the space that we have. We've got 180 desks of space and we're adding more space soon. We don't take equity. We don't want your IP. Uh, we just ask that you help us inspire and support other entrepreneurs. That's it. Uh, we also ask that you have someone on your team who has studied at UTS at some point in the past or currently. Uh, that's it. If that sounds like you, the search for UTS startups, come down and look forward to supporting you. Thanks, Murray, and thanks so much for all that you do for the startup community. It's um, yeah, it's an inspiration for all of us. Next I'll up, we stop have. Stop at you. I know. <laughs> Next Thank up, you. we have Eloise Lever from Think Lab, all the way from Adelaide, and after Eloise, we have Chris from iAccelerate. 
Thank you, Maxine, and thank you, amazing Spark team. Um, good evening, everyone from beautiful Adelaide. The weather is perfect as usual. Um, I'm from the team um, at Think Lab, which is the University of Adelaide's uh, startup incubator. We work with startups at all stages from ideation through to traction, scaling and growth in all sectors. Um, but not just students, staff and alumni, we're actually open to the wider community as well. If, if you're a good fit for us, we will, we will welcome you in. I'm going to talk about tonight our multiple locations, our ad tech specialty and our pre-accelerator program. So we have five think labs. Our headquarters is in Adelaide and that's open to all sectors. And then we have another one at the Agriculture, Food and Wine precinct um, of the university called Think Lab Wait. We have one in regional South Australia fo focused on ag, food and wine. And we have two international locations, one in New Zealand and one in Singapore. So we have um, startups from all sectors in our HQ, but the ones at Think Lab Wait are all focused on ag, food and wine, in particular ag tech. We've got startups working on drone technologies, AI, robotics, et cetera, all working on solving problems and um, saving time and money for farmers. We're also home to the longest running and most successful pre-accelerator program in Australia, the Australian E-Challenge program, which turns 21 this year and we're having a really big party for it, hopefully. The E-Challenge has over 8,000 alumni. We've created over 2,500 jobs and we've added over 200 million to the state's GSP. We've had the joy of running the E-Challenge program over the last five to six years in multiple locations, including Paris, across France, across South Australia and in Adelaide. To conclude, we also have a vibrant co-working community. We, have, we offer programs like the other um, incubators and accelerators for, for startups across all stages. And we have an amazing network of, of mentors, investors and experts. Um, so thanks very much, everyone. Really great to be here tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Ellen. Great to have you. Uh, next up, we have uh, Chris Petersilj from iAccelerate in Wollongong. And after Chris, we have Charlotte. Yeah, thanks, Maxine. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Chris from My Accelerate. Uh, if you spend any amount of time around startups, uh, you quickly realize how time consuming they can be. Um, for example, we're all here, especially our Kiwi colleagues, quite late. Um, so I guess one of the benefits of iAccelerate is um, that being in Wollongong, we're minutes for most people's commute, uh, we're minutes to bushland that you can walk through at lunchtime, and minutes to some of the best surf in New South Wales. So you can work hard, you can create a startup during the day and then enjoy life in the evening. Uh, in terms of what iAccelerate has to offer, um, we've been refining our incubation and acceleration programs over the past decade. We have an international network of mentors and an optional $10 million seed fund. Uh, so if you're interested in working alongside 50 globally competitive startups and starting your business there, um, you can come to our website, iAccelerate.com.au. And uh, we have our next cohort starting in February with the applications closing on January 25th. Thank you so much, Chris. Awesome. Next up, we have Charlotte Duru. We're down to the final three, by the way. So hang in there. It's only about five more minutes for the whole evening. Uh, Charlotte Duru from RMIT Activator. And after Charlotte will be Morgan. Thank you so much, Maxine. And yes, thank you so much for putting on this incredible uh, event. Um, hello, my name is Charlotte, calling in from the unceded lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. My pronouns are she, her, and let's get into it. So 90 seconds to tell you why you should join RMIT's Activator. Um, just like the other marketing manager in the group, uh, Sarah from Lander and Rogers, I've done a list of the top five reasons. <laughs> um, so why are accelerators launch hub and trade routes are the best choice for your founders? Uh, number one, we are invested in working with businesses, with founders who want to make a positive impact on the world. Backed by the UN Sustainable Development Goals and RMIT itself's areas of focus. Number two, we mean invested. All of our founders can unlock up to $25,000 worth of equity free funding. All you have to do is prove that you've put in the work to earn it. Um, 
Uh, number three, you get access to RMIT, which means global campuses, smart people, including our students, brilliant tech, and we help you access it all in meaningful ways that connect to your business goals. Number four, pathways in community. Once you're in, you're in forever, no matter the shape that your startup takes, if you want to be. And you're in good company, joining over 1,500 mentors, founders, and our team, which brings me to number five, our people. The Activator team are leaders in the innovation space, and after two years in the most locked down city in the world, we're raring to go and get started again. So to summarize, we have, we're for good, real investment, you get access to RMIT, meaningful pathways, and you get to work with our people. Uh, thank you so much for listening, and we're looking forward to hearing from you. Nice hack, Charlotte. I like that. <laughs> no tech. slides allowed. Cheap and cheerful. It always works. Uh, next up, we have our penultimate presenter for the evening, which is Morgan Copley from Macquarie University Incubator. And after Morgan, we have Andrew Lowe. Thanks, Maxine. My name's Morgan from Macquarie University Incubator. Before I get into my pitch, I did promise my team today that I would just do a, a little rap because they love to hear me freestyle. So I'll just... um. Just give me a minute. I am from Macquarie Incubator. If you like my pitch, I hope to see you later. So we'll we'll find out at the end of this pitch whether that worked or not, but um, let me get into this. So a little bit about us. We're obviously part of Macquarie University, which is really exciting. Uh, and that means that we're based in Northern Sydney on the Macquarie University campus. And if you have a look behind me, this building, which is not a real, it's not the actual building. This is a filter, but it's pretty amazing. Uh, this is where we're lucky enough to call this building our home. Uh, and, uh, and I get to work in this building every single day with five other amazing staff who are all dedicated to supporting startups. That is all we do. Get up, go to work, support startups. I have to pinch myself sometimes uh, because I just love my job so much. It's the best job in the world, as I'm sure everyone else that's on the panel here today um, will agree. So what else can I tell you? We love education. We work really, it's, maybe it's because we're part of a university, I don't know. We work really hard to run a year-round program that all of our startups can engage in to build their skills and to build their capabilities. I'll just give you a quick example. One thing that we recently launched was this B2B sales program, which is specifically for founders. Anyone who's founded a business knows that that's one of the hardest things you can do is start to convert real business. So we've started to address that with these kinds of programs. That one's worth about 100K, but um, we're able to get some, uh, you know, we basically acquire those programs for our startups and build them and design them. So um, if that's, if you're a B2B business, we might be one that you want to talk to um, like other unis that we are, we're not for profit. Um, so we're just here to help uh, and to, you know, enjoy our time together. So who do we work with? We work with startups. We work with startups from every industry, um, which means you don't need to be a Macquarie university student to apply, but obviously we'd love to hear from Macquarie alumni um, so while it's any industry, we are especially good with med tech. We have a lot of uh, groups that in that hospital, that medicine sort of space work with us. That's because Macquarie University, obviously quite strong in the med, uh, med tech research space. And we've got a fully working hospital um, on the campus as well. So there's a, there's a client everyone likes to try and get in with there as well straight away. Um, we work with scale ups. We've got quite a few businesses that are still in the ecosystem that are now they're converting multinational businesses and they um, they impart their wisdom on the, the new founders we have coming through, which is exciting. We work with university researchers. We're helping them become more entrepreneurial. We also work with corporate entrepreneur teams. So we're starting to bring these corporate teams into work with our startups and that starts. And what we like to do now is um, while they start to learn together, we build this community by connecting all these different groups together as well. And so we really see ourselves as the connector and all that and feel that the community is just as valuable as the actual programs that we're running as well. Uh, who we're looking for? We accept startups from every industry, as I said, um, but we love people who are passionate learners. We love people who are coachable, who, uh, who want to participate in our community. So we really want people that are engaged, that are excited to get up every day and be part of it. We love first time founders, but we love those first time founders just as much as we love fifth time founders. So we've got a lot of experience in this space um, and uh, keen to hear from you if you're any of those things. To wrap, we are all about education and we're all about research. We're all about connectivity and community, but most of all, we're all about celebrating success. So 
if any of these things sound like the kind of thing that you're interested in, uh, we're currently open for our next cohort. So contact us if you'd love to know more because we'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much, Morgan. Great energy to end the night. And our final speaker for the evening was a person I only met a few days ago and he's um, come along to talk to us tonight about one of Australia's most established um, accelerator programs, actually, the Melbourne Accelerator Program. Um, please welcome our final speaker, Andrew Lowe. Thanks, Maxine. Lucky last. Thanks for having me. Great to see everyone today. So my name is Andrew Lowe and I'm the Program Coordinator at the Melbourne Accelerator Program, or MAP for short. We are part of the University of Melbourne and one of the oldest accelerators in the country, providing passionate startup founders with the resources, mentoring and community to successfully scale their high growth and high impact ventures into the world. Over the past 10 years, we've supported and created an intimate community of 230 of the most amazing startups, including Nura, Carba and Brosa, helping them create some really impact outcomes. And that's what we pride ourselves in. We support founders at any stage of the entrepreneurial journey. If you're an impact founder as well, with no uni affiliation and you're solving societal and environmental challenges, you're also really welcome. As such, we provide access to a world-class network of mentors, workshops, and university resources, which can help you turbocharge your growth. Even better, we provide $20,000 of equity-free funding to each of the 10 accelerator startups and a co-working space in our brand new office at Melbourne Connect. Here at MAP, we love passionate founders, those who are visionary, resilient, and determined, and we welcome those who are at any stage of the entrepreneurial journey. If this sounds like you, express your interest for upcoming programs via our website at themap.co and get in touch with me. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Andrew. And thank you everyone who has hung in till the end of the night. We've got a little bit over time, but not too much. It's still only 10 past seven here in Sydney. Plenty of time to grab some dinner. Um, we will end pretty much now. There'll be an email that will come out at 7.30 this evening that will have links to everyone who was on the program this evening. We've got video from everything that you've just seen. I'll probably end up releasing it just as one big video, first of all, so that everyone's just got access to it as a resource. But we're also hoping to turn it into um, little video, little pitch videos for everyone and add that to our, um, our website. And I'll be sending you the link to that website as well. Don't worry about that. And um, that's it for this evening. Thank you so much for attending. Um, thank you and good night. And may your God go with you. Thanks, Maxine. Thanks, Maxine. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Great Thank, Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Saving the chat. And see you guys. Bye.